Welcome to our Energy Connects discussions with me, Julian Walker. I'm delighted to have standing next to me the Minister of Energy for Tanzania, His Honourable Danry Magumamba. Yes. Thank you so much for taking your time on such a busy day. This no pleasure is mine. Thank you very much. Elena. The reception seems to have gone really well. I've such Ab- a buzz absolutely, in the audience. Absolutely, absolutely. Tanzania is on the move. There's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement, a lot of opportunities. We're ready to move. Great. Yeah. Um, you know, how can Tanzania become an East African energy hub? No, well, uh, first of all, is by doing what we're doing now uh, to bring in uh, partners, investors. Uh, so that we can uh, exploit this immense base of natural resources for electricity generation, for oil and gas. And in East Africa, Tanzania is one country that is blessed with abundant uh, uh, natural resource base. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, sell power to our neighbors, we can bring them gas, uh, we can do uh, hydros and, and all these projects. Also, as a country with access to the ocean, which saves about uh, seven landlocked countries. All the fuel is uh, passing through Tanzania, so we can also be a, a fuel trading hub uh, in uh, in the region. So we have all the necessary uh, basic ingredients uh, of being a huge uh, East Africa uh, uh, energy hub. Yeah, and you heard that today, and then the interest of people wanting to invest, that's what you hear of, of from course, that. Of course, we have uh, about 50... Uh, power projects. We have uh, 30 uh, oil and gas blocks. Uh, we have a huge demand uh, for rural electrification, upgrade of the grid and transmission systems. So everything is on the table. That's great. And obviously we heard two things in there. One, obviously for the energy future, yeah. to look at renewables. Yes. Yeah. How, how, what are you doing? No, we uh, we have started. Obviously we, we were delayed. Uh, we should have had uh, uh, more uh, solar and wind and geothermal into the energy mix. So we have invited uh, investments. Uh, some of them we have already closed deals. Uh, we want in the next uh, uh, six, uh, seven years to have about two gigs of uh, renewables mm-hmm. into the grid. Uh, I think it is possible because there's a lot of interest. Uh, plenty of uh, uh, sports in Tanzania with uh, uh, wind uh, yeah. capacity. Sun, three hundred and sixty uh, days a year. A sun, uh, you know, big chunks of land to put solar farms. Uh, also, a growing uh, demand for power to accommodate uh, all this generation. So, we're ready, uh, and we have uh, already signed with some of our partners to produce. Yeah, and obviously we're here in Dubai. There was yeah. the Expo Day yesterday yeah. about Tanzania. Yeah. How important is the Gulf investment? and the Middle East region to come to Tanzania? No, very important. As you know, uh, Tanzania is uh, somehow geographically uh, closer to this region. There's a cultural uh, connection here. Uh, you know, Gulf countries understand this east, east uh, coast of uh, Africa very well. Uh, there are frequent uh, flights and <laughs> commercial links since time immemorial. Uh, we believe that uh, the, uh, the the capital that sits here mm. uh, can find a home in, in Tanzania easily. Great. Yeah. And final question, well, obviously, you mentioned about the event, obviously, that you're going to be hosting, inviting everyone to come in yeah. August. Yes. Just do a final comment on that? No, very exciting event, uh, uh, Energy Congress in Tanzania in August. Uh, it's going to be big. It's going to have everyone. It's going to, again, put Tanzania on the map. Yeah. Uh, so we welcome everybody to come. It's going to be exciting. We will have a serious few days worth of conversation. And also not just conversation, maybe closing deals as well. So uh, our ministry will be at the venue. Uh, in case we need to sign something, uh, we'll be there. And we look forward to coming too. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for giving your time. Pleasure is mine. Bye.